Hi, uh, evening everybody. This is uh, another wee uh, feature here, this MIGZIG oscilloscope that I've been uh, doing a couple of videos on. This here's my uh, smartphone here. Uh, I'm recording this on a, a wee, dopey, uh, wee dopey digital camera. So this is my smartphone and it's connected through my IP address and uh, through the Wi-Fi in the, in, the, in, the, in the place here in the garage. and. Uh, I can actually control this thing from the uh, smartphone. So yeah, so I can do all my settings here. I can uh, completely uh, full control of it. Right, it's all touch screen, obviously on the smartphone. Right, so there's our. Uh, Measuring blocks there, and I'll push that up and down, and just bring that time in a bit. So <coughs> the main uh, mothership is sitting on the bench over there, and what I have is what I've done is if. Connect it with a 600 amp clamp around the positive battery cable. Now, I'm going to do another wee video on clamps because I've had a number of clamps and I just noticed uh, I just noticed uh, a couple on the way the arrows pointing for uh, polarity and stuff. So some of them are a wee bit different. So let me do a wee, let me do a wee video on that. I thought it might be interesting. Anywho. Uh, I have a 600 amp clamp around the positive battery cable. I'm in my own car here, Mel for Mel. Just mucking about with a few settings here. You probably can't make this out because this wee camera doesn't seem to be focusing very well here in the car. So uh, I hope you get the gist of what I'm doing. There's a wee bit of glare there as well. Uh, but uh, so I've got it on 500 milliseconds there, and uh, scrolling across the screen, I've got it up here. It's set for. 1000 uh, so it's a 1 milliamp or sorry 1 millivolt per amp uh, 600 amp range clamp so I'm going to do a wee quick uh, relative compression uh, so the next egg is running there's it stopped there's it running again and uh, we'll just uh, stick a clip my foot in the clutch and We'll give it a bit of a tip here. And we'll stop that capture and we're going to move that about and uh, adjust the time base and stuff like that. Now, the other wee thing I noticed on this mix egg, just mucking about with the settings. It's a wee bit slow on this smartphone. Might be something to do with the Wi-Fi. Maybe tiny did it better. It's not just as super responsive. Just goes through going through the Wi-Fi. But anyway, yeah, I've noticed this other wee feature here. Pretty handy for this type of testing. So I've run the scope. Run the scope. So it says wait up in the corner there. I just get it to start there. I want the, the capture to start in the left hand of the screen. So if I hit this here sequence, so it sort of does a like a screenshot. So it does a screen. It does a uh, just one screen capture. Uh, so it's one sequence. And it automatically stops. Don't know why you can see all that happening because uh, this wee camera isn't focusing too well, the looks of it. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of a couple of different ways you can do it. Here, now we'll run it again. We'll stick it away up to one second. Um, so we'll have to give this a wee minute or two 
for to start scrolling across because I have this uh, timer set on the, on the extreme left so there it goes across so this thing is gonna if I started the car now it would start there so I'll just wait till that goes across so that's one second per division so it's taking a wee minute or two so it's going right across the screen so we'll give it a wee capture there and stop it and then what we're going to do we're going to move in Tiny wee delay in this. So, I seem to be getting the best capture at 500 milliseconds there. So, yeah. So, there we go. I just thought it was cool there. I'm controlling this mixing completely from uh, the smartphone through the Wi-Fi so uh, there's an app available and uh, it's not in the Play Store or anything like that you have to uh, you can download it and then it's, it's a RAW file and so you have to convert it and uh, in the phone here and uh, just show you it. so I had to download you probably this focus isn't very good I had to download this RAW app thing here and uh, it allowed me to open up the file for this uh, up here the oscilloscope and it's real time so if you want to set the uh, the mothership up and just set it on the bench you can walk about with a smartphone so uh, it's another wee feature of it, but uh, I was just uh, looking on the internet and found out a few things. So there you go, hope you like the video, and uh, I have a load of videos uh, now on these oscilloscopes and various bits. Uh, I'll maybe do a few of uh, actual car repairs, but uh, yeah, so if you like what I'm showing, uh, please subscribe, hit the old bell there, I'm putting up videos maybe a couple of, couple of weeks, uh, different wee things, anything that I find interesting. So I don't really, I'm not really going to film myself uh, putting a spring in a septum, which I'm going to do tomorrow, so uh, unless there's something strange about it. But uh, yeah, hope you find this interesting. So there you go, all the best, uh, bye bye.